I've watched a lot of TV between uh, when The Expanse Season 1 ended and, of course, now when Season 2 started. And um, There's been a lot of good TV in the past year, but, you know, looking back, I can't remember anything that was as astoundingly beautiful or well-made as The Expanse. And Season 2's premiere really helped me, you know, uh, realize that again, that I hadn't seen anything this good on television for that long. So so many good things happened this episode, and this episode was so well set up that it kind of blew every other show out of the water for me as far as production quality and acting and just mystery, and I really loved The Expanse, and I had forgotten how much I loved it. So this episode uh, was actually a two-part premiere, the first of the episodes being called Safe Safe and Doors, and then the second episode be, being called Corners, but... This uh, two-part episode opens up with uh, showing this team of Martian Marines training led by Bobby Draper, and they basically win the simulation, and, it, uh, and then they get told that they're being shipped out at, to go and investigate, you know, Phoebe Station where the outbreak had happened, and uh, the casting for Bobby Draper was amazing. The casting for the rest of the crew was amazing. I could go through it, but it'd take a lot of time. Um, but she's really the main focus of the team right now. So um, she, it was cool seeing her character sort of just in, in the whole entire Martian perspective on things. And that's going to be awesome going into this season. Um, and her and her whole team get extremely mad because the station is destroyed before they get there. But thinking about the proto-molecule, it's probably good thing that the station was destroyed before they got there so the whole entire martian introduction really worked well in this episode um the earth plot the earth and un plot was really good the sort of the political situation on earth because we see alva Sarah, um almost dying in an assassination attempt for it to start off which is very intense and very awesome her ship almost gets blown up um and we see that she hires a spy to investigate uh Aaron Wright, who we, of course, know has been working with the evil scientist Julie Malice's father on the proto-molecule. So she knows there's something up. She knows that she needs to investigate, but at the same time, she, uh, you know, she's very patient, and her strategy's longer term, and we see this because she allows the UN to blame Fred Johnson for all the issues, even though she knows it's uh, happened, all these uh, issues with PB station, the proto molecule, uh, which she doesn't actually know about yet, but all these issues that have been going on between Mars and Earth have been caused by somebody internally in the UN. So it'll be really cool to see how her investigation is carried out throughout the season and how she can sort of pull some strings politically to see things done. And you know, you know, sometimes in politics and shows are not very interesting, but definitely um, Alva Sarah's plot in the Expanse uh, it continues to be interesting even in this season two premiere. Now, while those plots were good, the Rocinante plot was just phenomenal. I really loved seeing this, and I knew it was going to be good this season whenever Miller was sort of flung in with the crew of the Rocinante um, at the end of the last season and sort of see his dynamics with the group. And we see this, you know, expressed with his fight he picks with Amos because, of course, Amos killed his friend before they left the station, and they sort of pick a fight, and Amos almost kills uh, Miller. So it was interesting to see that. They all make up over lasagna that um, that is made, and it's very hilarious to see that. But they, they travel back to the station to see Fred. They tell him, inform him of all the events that happen on the station, and they figure out that they need to go to this other station to figure out a larger conspiracy. So they go there. And it's awesome because the Rocinante is able to destroy this stealth ship in a very intense uh, dogfight. And I love how the dogfights are done in the Expanse. They're just very interesting because it's early Earth technology, or early space technology, so there's not many shields or anything. Uh, but it was a very well done uh, scene. And Amos even had to repair the engine at one point, and it was awesome to see him sort of do that while the dogfight was going on. Uh, Miller goes with this landing crew of belters that Fred recruits in this awesome scene where he basically ejects this belter into the void of space, and they find a ton of unwell guarded, uh, an unwell guarded group of scientists working on the proto molecule. And Miller, how the episode ends is basically Miller 
takes out the lead scientist and it's very uh, cool to see him sort of get revenge for the station and all the Belters that were killed even though uh, this scientist was saying he could work with Fred Johnson and everybody. So overall this episode was amazing and it was great also another thing to note I guess is the protomolecule sample they took from the station they launched it into space but um, this episode was phenomenal both these episodes it was one of the best two hours of television I've seen in a long time. Uh, so between the action in this episode that was phenomenal, of course, the dog space dog fight and with uh, Miller's landing party um, and the crew growth on the Rocinante from that to Alvacera's masterful politics on the Earth, you know, and the UN to the introduction of this new Martian group, uh, safe indoors and corners work both extremely well as premiere episodes for season two. I'd have to give the Expanse season two opening as a whole, the first two episodes, a 9.5 out of 10. If you haven't watched The Expanse, I'd encourage you to check it out. It's definitely one of the best sci-fi shows out there. Um, it's probably my favorite sci-fi show since uh, uh, Stargate SG-1, which is saying something, considering how much I love Dark Matter and I love Defiance. So, uh, what did you think of this episode? Comment below. Uh, remember to like and subscribe for more Expanse content. This has been Jonesy from Jonesy TV, signing off.